Today we are going to find the surface area of an object. And today it's going to be one of two type of shapes. It is either going to be a rectangular prism, which is a box that has rectangles on all sides, or it could be a square prism, which is also called a cube, where all the sides are the same, or it could be a triangular prism, and I used to have one and somebody stole it, it had my name on it. I don't have a triangular prism anymore, but anyway. So, let's talk about visually what we need to find. If I'm gonna find the surface area of this box, what all do I need to find? Tell me. Well, they're gonna give me like the length and the width and the height. I need to find the area of the, the bottom. That's gonna be the base. Whatever it's sitting on, is the base. Now watch, couldn't I turn it this way? That could be the base. So let's talk about bases for a minute. There's always, how many bases? Two. 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 The bottom and the top. top. So whatever side you want to be the base, make sure there's a bottom and a top. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so if I find the area of the bottom and the top, is that it? Is that all I need? No. What else do we need? I already know the dimensions. Don't say length, width, height. I already, they're going to give me those. I can't hear you. Volume? No, we are not finding volume of anything. I got the top and the bottom. There's more. What side? Be specific. No. Left side, right side, bottom, top, front, back. Use some words here, people. Thank you. I need the left side. I need the right side. So, so far, you got top, bottom, left, right. You're not done. No, I don't like that. Be specific. The front and the back. There we go. There are six sides to a rectangular prism. You have to find all of them. They are top, bottom, left, right, front, Back. Are you with me? Okay. So this little formula right here is going to solve for all six sides. Here it is. Two big B plus big P times H. That formula will solve for any triangular prism, rectangular prism, cube. It'll fix them all. Now, once we get to uh, like pyramids, they have a different formula, but we'll get to the pyramids later, not today. All right, so let me draw you a picture and let's find the surface area <coughs> of this rectangular prism. Bless you. All right, let's put some numbers there. Let's go eight inches four inches, and nine inches. All right, now before we get into this formula, let's think about what we just said we need to find. What's the most important part? The bases. The bases. Are you with me? This right here will find the area of the top and the bottom. That's why... It, what, do you, what is big B again? The area, of the, base. the area of the base. Why are we multiplying the area of the base times two? Because you said there's two bases. There's two of them, the top and the bottom. bottom. So put a little note up here. Two big B tells you the top and the bottom. Angel, write them down, sweetie. I just added stuff. All right, so two big B is going to be the top and the bottom. What is big P? Does anybody know what big P means? The right and left side? Maybe? Nope. What starts Perimeter. with the letter P? What? Perimeter. Perimeter. But what does big P mean? <coughs> what did big B mean? What do you think big P means? Perimeter of the base. base. There we go. So big P is going to be the perimeter of the base.
And that's going to be times little h. What is little h? The height. All right, so for every problem today, you are going to do the area of the base times 2 plus the perimeter of the base times the height. And that will give us the surface area of this rectangular prism over here. Now, the most important thing is the base. base. We need to decide what the base is. Are you with me? What do you want the base to be? Ten. We technically can use any of the sides. I can use the bottom. I can use the right side. I can use the left. I can use the top. I can use the front. I can use the back. Because I can set that rectangular prism any direction I want. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Which one do y'all want to be the base? Bottom. The bottom is usually the easiest. I'm with her. Okay? So, I'm going to highlight the bottom because that's the most important piece. Yeah. All right. This is real hard. Let's find the area of the bottom. How do I find the area of that rectangle on the bottom? Eight times, eight times, eight times four. Length times width. What's eight times four? Thirty-two. Any questions so far? All right, let's keep going. Let's find big P, which is the perimeter of that base. Somebody tell me how I can find the perimeter of the bottom. Uh, eight times two plus four times two. Yeah, let's just do this. Isn't that eight and eight and four and four? Yeah. Let's just add them all up. Did y'all hear Lizzie go eight times two? Aren't there two eights? Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Didn't she say four times two? Okay, what's eight times two? 16. Plus four times two? Eight. What's 16 24. plus eight? 24. Y'all agree that big P is 24. Yeah. So we're gonna plug in 24 over it. Times. Now, some students get screwed up right here. What is the height? How do you know? Okay, it's got to go the opposite direction of the base. Are you with me? Eight and four are on the bottom. The nine is going up. Nine has to be the height here. I do have kids use the wrong number for height at times. They use one of those. Don't do that. I have a question. Yeah? Are we going to do supposed to do order of operations on this, like the times first and then the addition? Yeah. Well, the calculator will do it all for you. Oh. Yeah. So, everybody pick up your calculator. Type in 2 times 32 plus 24 times 9. Hit it. 280. Gavin? 280. 280 even? Yeah. No decimals? No. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So, the surface area, the total surface area is inches. Now, let's talk. Do I need to put the 3 at the end? Or do I need to put a 2 at the end? Three. Three. Why 3? Because it's three-dimensional. It is three-dimensional object, but we are not finding three dimensions. We're only finding the area. Area is only one side. Are you with me? Nowhere did we do this times that times that. We added it. Anytime we have any kind of area... It's always going to be squared. No, I can't. Questions? All right, let's do another one. Let's do one that might give you trouble on the homework. Triangular prism. Hey, not a bad drawing, we're free. Good. Not bad. Can y'all see it? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop a 90 right here. And let's make this 10 feet, 14 feet, uh, 9 feet, and 7 feet. And let's go back and do the exact same formula. Two times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height. Let's do it. All right. 
trick question. What is the base? <laughs> Lizzie raised her hand. No. The bottom of this picture is not the base. No, no, no. Tell me what side is the base. I don't want numbers. No numbers. I want you to show me or tell me which side is the base, Skylar. The like, front one. The front one? Yeah. Tell me what shape it is. A triangle. Good. Y'all agree with Skylar that the triangle is the base. <coughs> there are always only two. two exact bases. Are you with me? Here's why the bottom is not the base. There's a 10 by 14 on the bottom. There's not another 10 by 14 on the top. Are you with me? <clears throat> and actually there's a, in this front side right here, 14 by seven, there are two of them. Are you with me? There's one on the back side too. But anytime there's a triangle in there, the triangle is always the base. Are you with me? All right, so this is my base. Oh, I forgot to give you one more number. Let's let's make this like twelve. There we go. All right. So let's go. Somebody help me find the area of the base, which is the triangle. Gabby. Nope. What's the formula for a triangle? Somebody look and tell me. Area of a triangle. I didn't say volume, I said area. Oh. Area of a triangle, Layla. Area equals one half base times height. height. So look, here's my triangle. Do you see the 90? Mm -hmm. They have to put the 90 in there somewhere so you know what the base and the height are. The 90 always touches the base and the height. So what numbers are my base and what numbers are my height? 10 to 9, 9 and 10 are the base and the height for the triangle. Are you with it? So let's go ahead and plug in 10 and 9 over there. What's 9 times 10? 90. 90. What's half of 90? 45. Do you all agree that the area of the triangle is 45? Hello? Yes. Sweet. I'm going to plug that in right here. And we're going to multiply that sucker by two in a minute. All right, next we need Big P. Who can help me? Who hasn't helped me yet? Find Big P. Do I get to pick? Sweet. Haley, help me find the perimeter of the base. What is the base? I forgot. Mm -hmm. What is the shape of the base? Oh. Okay, help me find the perimeter of the triangle. All you gotta do is add the sides together. So tell me what not three numbers to add. 14 is not on the triangle. 14 is part of the rectangle. You say 12? Hello? I like it. Be more confident, girl. 12. What else? I can't hear that. Seven? Seven, yes. And what else? One more number. Look on the outside of that triangle. Ten. Ten, Ten twelve, and if this one's seven, isn't this one also seven? Mm -hmm. I'll label it there. Do not use the one in the middle for the perimeter of the triangle. Kids do it all the time, and then they get it wrong. To get the perimeter, you're going to add twelve plus ten, plus seven, what's 10 plus seven? 10. Plus 12. 29. What is big P? 29. Do y'all agree that the perimeter of my base is 29? Is it the height question? We'll get there. Now, we're to the last question, and this is another spot kids screw this problem up. Pretend I pick up this triangular prism and I set it down on the triangle. So you gotta visualize picking it up and setting it down on the triangle. What would be the height if I picked it up and set it down on the triangle? 14. Alina. 14. Yes. 
You'll agree with Alina. Mm -hmm. This is the height. If I picked it up, set it on the triangle, it would be 14 feet tall. So I need to put 14 right here. All right, questions before we begin. This one, for some reason, a lot of kids miss it up. Are you with me? Okay, because they have trouble finding big P, they have trouble finding big B, okay? They don't know which number to use because there's actually four numbers you could pick on this triangle and you gotta put each one in the right spot. Does that make sense? All right, calculate it. <coughs> two times 45 plus 29 times 14. Angel, tell us what you get. I'll take a sip of coffee while she's typing. Two times 45 plus 29 times 14. 496, even or any decimals? 496. Is that even or are there decimals after 496? No decimals? Do you all agree with 496? Sweet. All the ones I've picked so far don't have any decimals. Very nice. Yes? Why are we only using two? Because this is five. What do you mean? Because isn't the triangle plus three? Yeah. Volume is the only one we can. Every Anything with area, if I find the area of this square right here, it is 144 inches squared, two dimensions. If I put more squares on the outside of it and find the total area, it's still inches squared because I'm not finding the inside. The inside is the third dimension. Does that make sense? Did I explain that? correctly where you understood it because we're really finding two dimensions on this side two dimensions on this side two here two here two here two here and we're adding them all together it's still only two dimensions we're not finding the inside which is that third dimension which is volume hopefully that clear cleared that up any questions this one's going to be the hardest one on the homework the rectangular and the cubes those are easy because usually just use the bottom as the base. All right. I think we're ready for the homework. 